Isaiah 43 verses 16, 18 and 19. Thus saith the Lord which maketh a way in the sea, and a path in the mighty waters. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. How do you know when God is about to blow your mind and do some things in your life? How do you know when is ready to break through your rock in a hard place situation? Yes, you will know because the word of God is yea and amen. God has promised to make a way of escape for you. You will know because God will invade your ordinary with something extraordinary. What does this mean? It means that God will show up in a way that you can't explain. He will create a scenario and visit your normal with something abnormal, something extraordinary. When God is getting ready to blow someone's mind, he will show up in a way that human understanding cannot explain. Maybe you are in a wilderness, or you find yourself between a rock and a hard place, and you can't find a good way out of what seems like a never-ending situation. Maybe you have done everything humanly possible for your situation to end, but nothing seems to work. I encourage you today to seek God to show up in a way that you can't explain. Yes, seek him. And if you have been doing that, don't stop seeking him. Why? Because the Bible says that those who seek God must know that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The scriptures also says that those who put their trust in him shall not be disappointed in all their expectations. God's ways are not your ways. His thoughts are not your thoughts. God is not like you or me. His ways are different. So trust him and he will not put you to shame. The Bible says, as he not said it, will it not bring it to pass? Yes, God will bring everything to pass. He will blow your mind and make a way where there seems to be no way. Look for him, keep the faith and watch him explode your ordinary with his plan for you. Remember it is written in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and plans to give you hope in a future. Hallelujah. Many times the reason God says no to something now, it's only because he desires to say yes to something greater later. Haggai 2 verse 9 says, The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. God is saying do not worry, it will end in joy. Whatever you are going through now will end in joy. God will take over your situation and give you peace and rest. Maybe you are going through a spiritual battle. God will fight for you and give you rest and peace. Maybe it is a financial situation. God will send help and settle you. Is it a marital situation or a family problem? God will intervene and turn things around for your good. It could be a situation at your place of work or other areas of your life. God will step in and blow your mind. So for all those out there who are discouraged or doubting, hold on, God is a great God who wants great things for his children. His plans are greater than yours. His ways are higher than yours. Yes, I am fully convinced that the reason he has said no for now is because he is going to say yes to something greater later. God will blow your mind. Ephesians 3 verse 20 and 21 is true. It says now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. So hold on. Don't give up. God has greater things in store for you. Hallelujah.